From 2016 through 2017, I suffered insomnia. I couldn't sleep for many nights. Although people wondered how it happened and truly pitied me, I knew how it all started. Weeks before I developed insomnia, I had started writing for some blogs and for some clients. I wrote for these blogs every day and wrote for these clients every other day. Because I loved to write and I enjoyed reading, I would wake up very early to start writing, writing too often into the afternoon. Otto Jeff Goins said, Don't write a lot, just write often. Going against this advice, I wrote a lot. This was what resulted to my insomnia. That morning, I determined to finish a 10 article series for my new blog. Although my brain was near burnout, I forced myself to write that series. Soon as I ended the writing, my brain froze. From then on, I developed insomnia. But I never stopped writing. Although I had insomnia, and this caused weeks of headache and diminished productivity, in the same period, I started an email copywriting business that made tons of money in less than two months. I wrote an email copywriting business book in less than one week. I wrote tons of sales copies for clients and went on to write more books for myself and clients. It wasn't easy writing all this during that period, but I knew I had to do it. You would wonder why I told you this story. I tell you this story because I realized one very important lesson that helped me. I realized one truth I had to imbibe, otherwise I would never succeed. I realized nobody would ever pay me for making excuses. Simple. I knew I was in a dire health situation, but I wouldn't let that stop me. From the beginning, I knew excuses wasn't going to do me any good, and so I never used insomnia as an excuse for not doing what I am supposed to do and achieving my dream. And as a young person, this is one dangerous habit that could ruin your life faster than you could ever imagine. Making excuses. Live without excuses. A leader once told me, excuses are self-defensive lies. In other words, excuses are lies we tell ourselves in order not to do what we are supposed to do. Excuses are seemingly genuine reasons to give for not doing what we are supposed to do or being who we are supposed to be. And if you ask every successful person, they had excuses or reasons not to be successful. If you ask any failed person, they have very good excuses or reasons for remaining failures. What sets successful and unsuccessful people apart is always their attitude towards excuses. Brian Tracy said, never explain, never complain. Resist the temptation to defend yourself or make excuses. It's the easiest thing to do, to make excuses for not doing what you're supposed to do or being who we are supposed to be. Ben Carson shouldn't have become a reputable neurosurgeon his perfect excuse, he lived in a period of racial segregation. Pastor Nick Vidjevic shouldn't be one of the world's popular public speakers. His perfect excuse, he was born without limbs. J.K. Rollins shouldn't have written the Harry Potter series. Her perfect excuse, she was an impoverished, divorced mother with children. Look at your life right now. We all have very good excuses not to become who we are supposed to be. There will always be excuses to not become who you want to be. There will always be reasons why it can't be done. But the world was changed by people who always thought it can be done, regardless of their circumstances. Thomas Edison stood watching with his son as his entire life work burned down in a building he used for his business. He could have made the excuse that life was against him since he had tried countlessly and failed. Instead. He told his little son as the building kept burning, Listen son, tomorrow we start again. Where he should have seen failure, he saw success. Where he should have seen impossibility, he saw possibility. Where he should have made excuses, he rejected excuses. Listen to this. There will always be a reason why you cannot get things done. There will always be a reason why you cannot achieve your life's dream. There will always be a reason why you cannot change. But those reasons are just in your mind. They are self-defensive lies you have chosen to agree with. If you dig deep into the root, you will find that those excuses aren't genuine. They are mostly made up to either cover up your fear or your reluctance to stand up and fight for your life. You may not have good relationships because you are socially awkward. 
You may be socially awkward because you have a bad child. This challenge is a very good excuse to keep telling yourself you will never have good relationships. Or you could ditch the excuse, good as it may appear, and choose to work on yourself, forgetting your past to become a better person who develops good relationships with people. Nobody was ever born perfect. We all weren't born perfect. Nobody in the world has a perfect condition or situation, rich or poor. But most have learned to either make the most of their situations or use them as excuses for doing nothing with their lives. The choice is yours. The choice is yours to make the most of your life. The choice is yours to cast away your excuses. The choice is yours to stand up for your life and start to fight for it. The choice is yours to look at yourself where you are right now and know that you already have all it takes to become who you want to be. You may not have much, you may not have all, but you have been given all you need to start from where you are. The real question is, will you make that choice today, right now? If you are inspired by this video, like the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. We love you.